In this video, I am going to give an overview of the option portfolio spreadsheet. Uh, we're going to use this spreadsheet quite extensively for the last part of your course. And so I want to give you a sense of what's on this spreadsheet. So we are looking right now at the summary tab of the spreadsheet. And the key things on this summary tab, if we look at the top left corner, we see the market information or market data. Now, one important thing about the spreadsheet, you will find cells with an orange background. Those are input cells, and those are things which you can change. You will find cells in gray with orange lettering. Those are calculations. Uh, they're for you to look at, but they're not for you to change. And then finally, you will see cells that are have bold black lettering with gray background and those are outputs and so those are going to be your key things to look at in this spreadsheet okay so let's look at the market information first you will see a date that's today's date it can be whatever you want it to be you've got a spot price so think about a stock this is a stock trading at 100 the volatility of that asset so 20 percent continuously compounded risk-free interest rates in this case five percent and a continuously compounded dividend yield. And generally, we're going to set that to zero, but you could put a dividend yield into your spreadsheet. Next, we go over here to the right. We find the portfolio summary. <clears throat> Each row represents some quantity, um, the first one being present value. The next six are your risk measures, or Greeks. The final one is how much cash is in your spreadsheet. That could be a positive number if you've got cash to invest, and it could be a negative number if you need to borrow some cash in order to enter into this position. Each column, the first column, again, that gray background with bold black lettering, these are your totals. So this is these are uh, totals for the entire sheet. And then you will find a column for option positions, share positions, forward contracts, and payments. We'll see those in just a minute. The next most important part of the spreadsheet are the buttons. So we have three buttons here on the left. The book trade button, if we click that, you'll see a form pop up. And on this spreadsheet, you can book an option, a share, a payment, a forward, or you can borrow and lend cash for a period of time. If we, for example, click the option button, another form pops up and it asks you, how many options do you want to book to buy? Let's say a thousand calls the strike of 100, maturing, the default is maturing in a year from today's date, price per option. If we click on this value, that is the fair value of the option. If we are buying them, let's say cheap for $10.40, we put $10.40 into our spreadsheet. Into this cell here, let's put the fair value in, we click OK, and we now have an option position in our trade in our portfolio and you can see the portfolio summary has changed. <clears throat> the options, we bought them, the options are worth $10,450.58. You will also see a payment for negative $10,450.58. So the way the spreadsheet is structured is every time you book a trade, generally you are, let's say, buying options, then you, you will see an option position appear and you will see a payment for that option position up here. We will see various things. Again, we haven't discussed all of these, but you can see now the delta on the options is 636.83 shares. There's a gamma, there's a vega, there's a row, and so on. Now, if we look down at this cash, remember we had to pay $10,450.58. We have a negative $10,458 in cash giving us negative $10,458.58 in cash on the spreadsheet, meaning we need to borrow some money in order to make this portfolio really work. The next button is the clear button. This gets rid of all positions in our spreadsheet. As you can see, everything goes back to zero. The final button is deals with this chart here on the right. So this chart has two different forms. Either it's some quantity, value, delta, gamma, vega, rho, or so on, versus spot, meaning we change the level of spot, this input here, and we see what happens. Or 
we can look at what happens through the passage of time. So if I click my update chart, you can see choose your quantity, value, delta, gamma, vega, theta. Choose to run your chart from, let's say, 50 to 150 or 75 to 125 or whatever you want. Click OK and you'll get a chart. In this case, the chart is boring because we have no positions. Alternatively, we can run the chart, a time decay chart, and see what happens to, in this case, value, as time passes from today's date for a year. <clears throat> so those are our buttons. That's also our chart. If we, for example, book a trade, an option, let's buy a thousand options at the fair value, right? The present value is zero. If we update our chart, value chart, stock price is going from 50 to 150, click OK, we can see the value of the option for different levels of the stock. At the, money, or at the current stock price, 100, the value is basically zero. The final part of this summary tab is the profit and loss predictor. So we can say if the spot price goes up by one, we expect to make $646. If the volatility goes down by 1%, we expect to lose $376. Again, the gray cells with orange lettering are calculations. The black cell is the total. So we would expect that if spot goes up by 1% and volatility goes down by 1%, we would make $270. Let's see what happens. Spot goes up by 1%, volatility goes down by 1%. And we make, we can see in our spreadsheet, this present value before was zero. We have made $275. So our prediction was OK. Let's change everything back. Now, there are several other tabs in this spreadsheet that are worth at least knowing what they are, although you won't spend much time on them. You have a European option tab. Cells in orange are things that can be changed. Gray background with orange lettering are calculations. And this, these are all of your option positions entered into the spreadsheet. Remember, we booked a thousand, we bought a thousand call options with a strike of a hundred. They're currently worth $10 and a maturity one year, currently worth $10 and 45 cents, and so on. At the top of the tab, you'll see a summary of all the information on this tab. The next tab we have none, but allows for share positions forward contracts, and payments. We paid for those options. How much do we pay? $10,450.58. So we have a negative $10,450.58. Today's date, because we paid for it today. And that's in our payments tab. The last tab, oops, let me go to the last one. The last tab is the value at risk tab. And we'll spend some time here later in the course. So I'm not going to spend time explaining how this spreadsheet works. So this is our spreadsheet. Again, typically we don't have to touch the four tabs that contain the positions. We can simply book things using the book trade button. If we get confused about where we are or what we've done, clear gets rid of everything, allows us to start over.